господин Паси. Само господин Паси може да представя по този начин. Thank you, Mr. Pasi. Only he can do uh, welcoming words like this. Uh, dear Mr. Pasi, dear Mrs. Uh, Schubert, your excellencies, dear ambassadors, dear ministers, dear generals and officers, ladies and gentlemen. Nowadays, the Black Sea region is the most complex set of challenges insecurity, multi-ethnical discussions, regional confrontation among countries of significant role in the region proce regional processes, including counter-relations counter between Russia and the United States. After being the backyard of Europe, suddenly the Black Sea region turned to become an interesting point and crossing point for many issues. There is a discussion, but it looks like this discussion is leading to nowhere. The reasons of having such issues probably could be solved in order to achieve and decrease the level of tension in the region. Currently, the format of this event makes it really a beneficial, makes it really a beneficial way of bringing solutions. As, l as far as I know, it is today exactly, of a summit held in Paris today about the security policy of the outer borders of the European Union and in Warsaw, the upcoming summit in July. And surely the security issues in the Black Sea region are going to take quite an important place in the discussions and the solutions. And now, let me speak more practically. There are two ways in order to develop successfully and beneficially this way of uh, settling and resolving these issues. The first one is the increase, due to the increase of the military tension between NATO and Russia in the eve of having the Warsaw summit, the presence of NATO is justified because although it is indirect, there is still a threat coming from Russia and it, depend, it, be, it requires uh, an in haste military presence in the Black Sea. Most probably it will not be the soft talks, but it will be the hard hand of actions. Surely the state members are going to have extra expenditures in order to provide better and stronger protection to the eastern perimeter. Later on, it will not be only temporary, but most probably it should remain there constantly. There should be a fleet of various allies in the Black Sea region. If we go back to these basic approaches, is not it a bad way of solving the issue? No, because we can consider it as a way of protection in order to provide further security. Otherwise, if NATO does not resolve on this crisis, then NATO later on in a long-term perspective is going to be an inappropriate and inadequate re reply to the challenges that we have right now. Speaking of Article 5 and pursuant to Article 5, most probably NATO will not be able to adequately reflect all these issues on a later stage. There is a deepening there is a deeper 
non-understanding or no unity in understanding of the challenges among the state members. What is going on at the eastern borders of Europe and the confrontation and the waves of people coming from the north parts of Africa. Together with the great tension due to the different values and assessments in Europe, lack of unity is going to place a great challenge in front of us. So is there an alternative way of developing and resolving these issues? And instead of losing the battles at two different fields, can we both win at these two different fields? Recently, together with the help and support of Friedrich Ebert Foundation, we decided to sit there under the motto and think together. Can the Black Sea become an entrance point for launching a new war, or it can be the first place of establishing security and safety? By reviewing the global strategy of the EU and the participation of Ms. Federica Mogherini, we discussed different approaches of developing further actions of partnership, being of mutual benefit, both at the same time defending the interests of each country. During the forum held in Varna, the Black Sea capital of Bulgaria, the development we have started in the 1970s in order to establish a further mutual partnership or the so-called Helsinki II, part two, it should establish a strategy for the whole European space addressed to Russia and the Euro-Asia Union. And we don't do it by placing either, please choose either or, but it is rather a mutual agreement. Speaking of the energy provision and supply, and using the energy supply, this Black Sea synergy can turn, just as Mr. Puryazu said, it could become a beneficial strategy for the whole Black Sea region. It will be the continuation of the experience of these macro regions. This option can be challenged today because there are many arguments in saying that it is impossible to be achieved today. But when people say it, let me oppose that whenever we have a multi-approach way in order to provide hybrid security, in March there was a conference and a summit held in Odessa actually proposes the idea of not only constructive overcoming all these challenges related to security, but also building up mutual processes of partnership for all stakeholders, as well as for the European partners and allies. And it will be a win-win result. It is well worth thinking about it.